Okay, sweet team one is on the move. All the horses are being super good. Line, so to spring to start, two miles of the blacktop road through the neighborhoods to get here. This is a good day. from Lions Ridge and it is pretty damn gorgeous. So hanging out at Lions Ridge, there's a horse here that's tied up. So we're going to split up the sleep riders. Christina is going to stay here and take care of that horse and Colby and I are heading on. So let's have a good ride. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> She just left Lion Ridge. It's pretty rocky, pretty uphill, pretty beautiful. I and mean, who gets to ride the Tevis Trail by themselves? <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, we're a little bit further down from Lion's Ridge through all those rocks up the hills. This trail opens up really nicely. It's only a mile or two from Cooter Rock, if that. We're doing 9.5. It's pretty easy here. It's a couple rocks, but nothing major. Oh, walkway. Good job. Nice, beautiful footing here. Beautiful day. So we're about a half mile past Cooter Rock on our way to Lion's Trunk, or Elephant's Trunk. This is beautiful footing. You can go pretty fast here since it's rolling hills up and down. Not, not really any rocks. Beautiful place to move out. We're doing about 10.5. The horses are doing really great. Beautiful out here. So this is a couple more miles down the trail. It's hard to tell exactly where we are. We are probably about three miles from Red Star, but with the new trail, it's kind of hard to know the distance. This is a little rockier, but it's still movable. We're just walking because uh, Colby is on the radio, checking on the horse that got pulled. Isn't this stunning? Look at this. on our way to Red Star. Got a few couple miles to go. Trail getting a little rocky right here. According to my GPS we are 15 miles. Again, Colby's horse is feeling fresh after walking up those hills, which is great. We are 16 and a half miles in. The trail is pretty lovely here. You can move out very nicely if you wanted to. Hey, rock. A couple rock sections here and there, like that one. But really, you could <laughs> keep gander this whole thing if you wanted. I'm sure a lot of people do.
So I think Red Star is going to pop out of the woods here any second as we start going down these wooded switchbacks. Beautiful footing here, nice and shaded. Oh, yep, I see people. Yep, that's Red Star. I see people, people down there. Waiting for us, bringing up the caboose. This is pretty fitting in here. He is a celebrity, yeah, so, uh, everybody knows Frankie him. The, so he's the getting his photo model. taken with a couple of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's his te his brand that I use on the Once Wild River. So, leaving Red Star. From what I saw, there were three horses pulled at Red Star. But everybody else, except for the one horse at Lions Ridge, is doing really well. Oh, slow down, Frankie. Run over these nice people. And we're gonna wait to radio in where our location is. So we are about two miles out from Robinson, maybe a little less, a little more, who knows. Good morning. Happy ponies. <laughs> There's a good climb here. The road is nice and flat and rolling for several miles. And then right beforehand, there's this good climb. Okay, there's a nice curve in the road here and we're starting to go back down. trying to remember the signs of the road coming into Robinson. So we're heading just slightly on a deep, on the downhill right now. And there's Robinson flat. Finally here. The search and rescue vehicles just passed us. Don't look like they were needed for anything. That's good. Yeah, we're coming in. Our mission oh, is mission complete. <laughs> coming into Robinson's. There's still a bunch of horses here. As slow as we are, everybody's still here. <laughs>